You spawn on the beach. You hit a tree. Then you hit a rock. And you hit some bear. Hey, get back on set. And you hit some barrels. It's how you progress, right? But what if you couldn't do any of that? Could you still get to the top without farming? Playing rust without farming. Here it is. You may be asking yourself, why are you doing this to yourself? And I say to that, I don't know. Now before we get into the video, I need to explain the parameters of this challenge a little more. Well, I can't hit trees, rocks, or barrels. I can't pick hemp or crops either. Or harvest animals. I am allowed to loot things like crates and toolboxes though. So what are my goals? Well, first, we need a base. Eventually, a level 3 workbench inside it too. We need to get an airdrop. Do a raid. And successfully do the oil rig. Oh, and get an AK. Let's see if it's possible. Ooh. Hey man, how you doing? What the fuck? What is he doing? Oh my god. Whoa. His name was Marx, and he distributed his wealth. I had a pretty good start. I set out to gather some crates. That's the loot crate. There's the enemy. I was murdered by a seemingly immortal scientist. But I was able to come back and get my stuff. Yeah, okay. Great, more binoculars. Yo, these ain't real barrels though. Yo, I'm the barrel. This time I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff back. But a fresh start wouldn't end up being so bad. Hey, what's up? What's up guys? Hey, you guys got any cloth? You guys got any wood? Fifteen thousand gotcha. thousand? Yeah. Think I could have like thirty? I could go take like a thirty second run off in that direction to get you thirty cloth. Alright, maybe we do that, huh? You and me, Nancy. Hey, hey, don't kill me. Help. Sorry, you champ. Thanks. Kill us. Kill us, dude. Kill us, dude. Don't kill me. No, no, no. I'm cool, man. Why, why kill a chimp? Eh. Oh. Hey, hold on. Hold on. There was a raid going on near the beach. And I had befriended a geared player. That was me. It's me. Why are they shooting me? What? I barely slipped into the raid. The furnaces were loaded with sulfur. Uh, 320 cloth? 300 cloth was not easy to come by when you couldn't farm. I needed to find a way out. Hey bro, open, can you open the gate for me real quick? Getting the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Uh, sleeping bag, stash. Stashes. What the? How does that even happen? Please make it out safe. Wow. How did they let that happen? And the cloth to keep it safe, too. That's so lucky. 
I buried my loot underground. When I had a safe place to store it, I could dig it up and bring it home. But I needed a base now more than ever. Okay. Alright, we're good. I'm still not over what just happened. That's 10,000 gunpowder. I've never even had that much gunpowder. How you doing, man? You, uh, seen any good movies lately? Look at that's the dome over there. Hey, 40 quad! I collected some crates and headed to the outpost to recycle. That's 75 wood. Eight scrap. 44 stuff. Someone's just leaving shit all over the floor. I traded in some scrap for wood to start a base. Wait a minute. This guy on the map is selling 1k wood for 10 scrap. It's a way better deal. I had 2,000 wood now, enough to get something. I began construction of my grand base. Home sweet home. You did it guys. I needed more scrap if I wanted to finish this base, so I went back out to gather some. After some recycling, I bought some more wood. And then I finished the base. That was the first goal off the checklist. Alright, we're safe. We have a home. I headed back out to collect more crates. Bad at all. That's 60 tech trash or 60 scrap. Wow. And a rad suit. Okay. Things are looking up. I was able to loot the entire monument without being bothered. I did some more recycling. I now had quite a bit of scrap. I bought some more supplies to make my base safer and more efficient. I placed down a level 1 workbench, some furnaces, and a box. Now that I had a base, it was time to retrieve some sulfur. gonna bring the first half home now. What the fuck? I found some guns inside of a horse. What? First of all, you can store items in a horse. I did not know that. Second of all, what the fuck is this? This is the most scripted. I can't even post this video. It's too scripted. Who would? I wouldn't even believe this. I made it back with the first half, and some guns. I decided to take a revolver out to protect me this time. I used the spear to draw him over, and then I shot him. Did my Twitch chat mention that horses can pick up crops for themselves? Oh my god, you're right. This would become useful down the line. I 
gathered the second half of sulfur and headed home. I heard some gunfire while out, and I tracked it down. It didn't go too well, but I ran back out with a better gun. Oh, there he is. This clan base would become a recurring character. They didn't have my revolver though, but their door was open. So I waited. A Thompson was definitely worth a revolver. I was starving to death when I had an idea. I could use my horse to pick crops for me. Technically I wasn't the one harvesting them, right? Well, I headed to launch site and gathered more components there. Then I headed to outpost to recycle. I bought some more supplies for the base and headed home. Keeping the furnaces cooking sulfur would mean I could raid pretty soon. I upgraded the base to stone and added some more doors. I went out to Rome with a shotgun. It was going pretty well. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. But then I got outplayed. So I went back out with the Thompson. Killed a fully geared player. He get rocket launcher. But once again, I died. I snuck back and I was able to get my Thompson. I then headed to an airdrop. That was another goal completed. It's like the first non-dog shit airdrop I've gotten. Although on my way home, I was reading chat with a gun out and got killed by the outpost. My loot was safe, but I'd have to wait 30 minutes before I could go retrieve it. In the meantime, I went out to roam with a double barrel, and I heard some geared players in a base. I began crafting some gunpowder so that I could raid soon. The killing wasn't over yet though. Oh wow. 12 gears? Two jackhammers. What am I what what is happening here? Whoa. 
30 minutes had passed, so I headed back to Outpost to get my airdrop loot. It was time to attempt a raid. I headed over to a base I had seen earlier, and I began to blow through it. Oh, and I couldn't find enough rope, so I had to use bean can grenades. The loot was not bad. I brought some home and headed back. Going down the tool cupboard, I put my own door on the base. The TC was full of stone, which was not easy to come by without farming. I picked through the wall and found a ton of scrap too. And I stole some other stuff. I also found this neat egg that played the old Rust soundtrack. I was filled with nostalgia for a minute and made sure to take it with me. I made it home with the loot. That was another goal off the checklist. I noticed someone moved in next to me. Hey. Hey, why'd you place twig on my base? This is a stick up. Huh? huh? Did you place twig on my base? You see that? Did you do that? No. Oh, my bad. Uh, just a tip. You can, uh, these windows are not a good idea because they could shoot out your TC and then just, um, use a hammer to pick the window up and then come in your base. Generally, windows aren't something you should use, especially in this quantity. Oh. I, I uh, know that's I a, I know that's a little late. I constructed a new, more fortified base. I heard some satchel charges going off nearby, so I headed over. Oh fuck, it's right here. It was the clan base I had stolen from earlier. They were blowing down one of their own walls to get to their tool cupboard. I can take the TC. And I caught them at the perfect moment. I changed the code and sealed off the tool code. That meant I could build there now. Oh, fuck. Fuck out of here, you fucking cuck. Troll ass bitch. I should go over there and upgrade it to metal or something. That would be really. Or, you know, better yet, upgrade it to armored. Because I have like 200 high qual. This is such not a worthwhile investment. But it's so funny that I have to do it. I headed back with a hundred high quality metal. I was going to have to be quick. Oh, I got it. If I played this right, 
this could be a chance to go deep on the clan. So I waited. I was inside, but he closed the main loop. Fuck, I almost just went deep on TC. Why would he do that? Why the fuck would he do that? For some reason, one of the members spawned in and opened the garage door. Presumably to try to get a weapon. But he just let me into his main loot. I destroyed the bag so that they couldn't spawn inside anymore. Everything was almost kind of understandable until that last naked spawned in and opened his garage door. The loot wasn't as good as I expected for a clan of this size, but it was still big for me. I started destroying the tool cupboard so that I could build. Sadly, I was unable to put down my own doors because they had external tool covers. I thought I was not going to be able to get out until someone in my Twitch chat mentioned that the floor above the loot room was stone. That meant I could pick exit down. The roof over TC room is stone. Oh my god, you're right. I gathered some pickaxes and got to it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can get out. Holy fuck. I'm out of quarantine. I'm out. They could have just gone out. Got like a wooden door or something and just fucking slapped it on. I don't know. There's so many things they could have done. That was, that was a clan of people who, when put together, could not do anything. I was just outside of my base. And then this happened. I headed back out to try to get him. He was kind of suspicious. And I got someone. And he had the loot. I was about to make it inside. But then I got killed again. No, I'm on bag timer. I'm fucked. Wait, 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 wait. I headed back out and killed someone I for almost stuff. all of my loot. Oh my god. How'd you, how'd you do that? But once again, I, took the gun. I got killed. I decided to take a look at his profile. Oh, that guy has one hour. No. No, he has one hour in game. That is... Oh. I reported him for cheating. A couple days later, I received a message that he had been banned. So justice was eventually served. Alright, well. It is what it is, guys. Hey, I have some of your stuff outside. It was my neighbor. Yep. Really? How does he- Not much. Get in. He had recovered a little bit of the loot for me. How does he keep not killing you? I don't understand what's happening. It wasn't a ton, but it would help. How did that happen? He misses me. I waited for some time to pass, and then I started transferring loot into my new base. I made a trip to the outpost to get some more wood too. Then I headed back to the clan base to gather any leftovers. There was actually a ton of stuff left. This time I was able to make it home safely. I 
I made some more upgrades to my base. I made one last trip over to the clan base to collect the rest. My neighbor made another appearance, but this time he wasn't so friendly. This was the first of many. I headed back home. I gathered up some of my extra components and did a recycler run. I would need a lot of scrap for a level 3 workbench. In the meantime, I made a level 2. This would unlock a lot of items for me to craft. I wanted to do another raid, so I crafted a ton of satchel charges. I headed over to a nearby base and began to blow in. This was turning out to be an expensive raid, but I knew I was almost there. I decided to blow through the wall. I grabbed some more explosives and got to it. Put a door on the front, securing the base. And then I transferred all the loot into my base. And then I got off. The next day, I logged into an unrated base. Hey! That's surprising. I was going to attempt oil rig today. I got geared up and headed out. I ran into some people on the way. I didn't even make it to the beach, but I hadn't given up yet, so I tried again. Once again, I ran into people on the way. Hey, I was looking for you, cunt. No, I was gonna help you up. Finish the job. Then you open your mouth. No, you weren't. Don't lie, asshole. I just started the fucking game. Fuck you, bitch. Finish the job. So I know who the fuck you are, and I'll come find you. <laughs> Coward. Chimp! Not chimp! The chimp! I don't know who the fuck you are. No one cares. I headed to oil rig, but on the way, I ran into a fight. Uh, 
I died once again. Well, that was our second attempt at oil rig. Uh, I noticed I almost had enough scrap for a level 3 workbench. So I did some recycling. That was another goal completed. I noticed someone had taken the heli down near my base, so I went to investigate. It was definitely worth it. I went out to raid another one of my neighbors with my new gear set. But I was quickly met with resistance. Headed back, and I got him back. I decided to build a raid base. But he got me back again. Luckily, I didn't lose explosives. I kept blowing through the base. Destroyed the tool cupboard and put doors on the front. I was safe in here now. There was a ton of loot packed into this small base. Okay. That's an AK. Another goal off the list. The AK would be very helpful. After about a thousand trips, I transferred all the loot into my base, and then I got off. The next time I got on, I was once again not raided. I had one goal in mind today, to do the oil rig. I got fully geared and headed over. I made it to the top, but then I heard scientists shooting at someone else. There were other people here. And I died. Once again. I hadn't given up yet. I researched the AK so I could craft more when needed. I was determined to do the oil rig. I got geared up and headed over for another attempt.
So far, so good. It was time for the heavies. That was all of them. And the lid wasn't bad. I needed that armored door. I got in my boat and headed to the shore. I found a helicopter and decided to fly home. I made it home. That was the last goal completed. After completing all of my goals, I became a bit aimless. I did some more raids, but I think you've seen enough. So, I'll leave you with this. No, <laughs> it's gonna take off. I'm helping you up. We're gonna stay on this flight together, okay? You and me. Here, take this bow. I'm. Oh, it fell through the floor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your legs are shaking, man. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's kind of romantic. I said it's kind of. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's another YouTuber who did a similar concept in a series called Living Off the Loot a few years back. His name is Faceless. I'll leave a link to his series in the description if you're interested. If you're watching this within a few hours of upload, I'm live on Twitch. Come stop by.